Well, the end of the year is here, right? The pandemic, through a monkey wrench, things didn't go out of plan, or like according to plan, uh, some people were forced to shop online, to meet online. And now you have holidays and other things and planning your marketing took a back step. Well, don't worry. I'm going to share with you. I'm going to give you seven actionable, actionable social media marketing ideas that you can execute with no problem. I'm going to give you the seven and then I'm going to go into more details on each one. So if you have a question, leave the question, leave a question in the comments. And at the before I end the stream, I will answer it. So again, the seven marketing ideas, seven social media marketing ideas that I'm going to talk about, I'm going to give you today. One is how to find the best breakthrough to implement in your business. Guarantee. Number two, how to finalize at least quarter one of 2021 social media marketing plan. Look, you want to do it. I'm going to share why. Number three, how to choose the promotion or the event that your customers, your audience want to attend in 2021. And that's going to be that attend you, right? I'm going to give you uh, an idea for an end of year sale. Also, about, we're going to talk about rewarding your superstars and using proven themes across your 2021 marketing. Let's start with the easiest breakthrough. What is the easiest breakthrough you can implement in your business? If you know right now, leave a comment. Leave, leave it in the comments. What is the easiest breakthrough that you can implement in your business. Well, the easiest breakthrough that you can implement in your business is something that you already done. It's something, it's a breakthrough that you already have. And before you tell me, well, well that's obvious, but you see, but you're not looking. Here's how you find it. You want to look into your CRM and you want to figure out, you know, your sales, whatever, how, what system you use for your sale and figure out what was the best month. What was the best week, the best day? Look at your email open rates. Look at the most shared posts. Look at your emails. Look at Google Analytics, YouTube Analytics, Twitter Analytics, and start saying, what can I, what, we, what I did this day, that week, that month, what I did that day, that week, that month, do a success audit. Do a success audit. Look back and ask yourself, is there any reason why I can't do this again? <laughs> Let's go through this again. A breakthrough, the easiest breakthrough that you can implement in your business. It's something that you already done, something you already had. You will go back and you look through what was the best week, the best month, the best day. Look at your email open rate, the most shared post. And ask yourself, is there any reason why I can talk about this again? Why I can't do this again? Why I can't share this post again? If there is no reason, then you have your answer. That's the easiest breakthrough. Look, if your audience, if something happened that, that week, if you made a bunch of sales that week, can you replicate that offer, that, that sale? And can you do it maybe instead of one time, twice next year in 2021? If you, if you, Pick the 10 best emails, the emails that people open the most, the subject lines. Can you create videos of them? Of course you can. Can you create blog posts of them? Of course you can. Your audience is telling you exactly what they want. Give them what they want. Give them what they want. Let's finalize your quarter one. You, how, how can you finalize? How can I, can I help you finalize Q1? of 2021 your marketing plan, your marketing plan, your social media marketing plan for 2021. Like, the holidays are here. And quickly, January will be knocking your door. January will come quickly. Uh, 
so it's time to finish Q1. You don't want to start opening your phone and say, okay, what I'm going to post today or daily searching for what is that you're going to post that day. That, that, that is planned in ahead. Remember, if you schedule, if you plan, you can schedule your priorities, meaning your priorities will be posted. Plans for success, the best way for you to plan your social media marketing plan for 2021 is to organize your efforts or your plan in a what we call a marketing calendar. A marketing calendar is nothing but a Google Doc and a spreadsheet or an app that allows you to look month by month what is going to happen. You know, you look at your 12 months, so meaning January, February, March. So what's happening in January? New Year. So New Year's, New You. February, Valentine's, the hard day for the, it's also the heart in health. It's a hard day, but it's also Valentine's. So you can give love. At least I'm going to give love. That's going to be the theme for February for us. Uh, in January, it's going to be the New Year, New You. And, and so on and so forth. You pick 12 themes. It's easy. 12 themes that you can focus your efforts for that month. What is that you, you can talk about? And here's what is important. There is something happening that month. L let me take this back. This is, here's why picking themes for the month is important. Every month, something is happening that your clients, your audience cares about. If your audience cares about Valentine's, why you don't talk about Valentine's? Spring break, why you don't talk about spring break? If your audience cares about your heart or the heart, why you don't talk about the heart? So it's something that is happening that month that you can join the conversation instead of create, instead of trying to create one and having people join your conversation, make it easy for, for you and your marketing, join the conversation that already exists in people's mind, what they care about that particular month. Once you pick the 12 themes, then you want to look what weekly and daily observance or, or daily uh, observances people celebrate in your audience. So for example, we talked about Valentine's Day, but that's a specific day. But I also mentioned that in February is the heart month. And for my doctor clients, uh, we're, we're talking about heart. And, and that's for the whole month. So you, you make your content marketing, your marketing, your posting, a lot easier by planning ahead. And what you do is that once you have these, the 12 month uh, themes, 12 themes and your, the dates that you want to celebrate in, in this date will be your birthday, your business anniversary, time off, uh, a special sale, et cetera, et cetera. What are the dates that happen every year that you must do in 2021? You plug those dates in the calendar or in your Google Doc or in your spreadsheet, and then you plan the third step. You plan the content around those dates. Simple as that. Step one, pick 12 themes. Step two, look at the daily and weekly observance uh, holidays that you want to celebrate. And step three, plan your content marketing around that. Again, if you get stuck, ask for help, my friend. Leave a comment. Send me an email. I'll do my, help, my best to help you out. What, here's the question for you. What are you going to market to your dream client each and every month? If you don't have an answer right now, you better think hard. But please, if you have an answer, leave it in the comments. Let's move on. What is the one promotion, the one event that you must do in 2021? What is the one promotion, the one event that you must do in 2021? Well, that answer, only you know, but I, let me help you choose the one promotion, the one event that you will execute, you'll execute in 2021. One event can be your anniversary. And again, if you're going to celebrate your anniversary, you're going to invite people Put it in your marketing calendar. Christmas holiday. Put it in your Christmas holiday party. Put it in your calendar. What kind of virtual conference 
or present can you offer to your client that they will happily attend? And what kind of speakers would you attract so they can help you bring more clients? What kind of virtual conference can you offer to your clients that they will be happily, they will be happy to attend? And what kind of speakers would you add to the conference? That's a decent question to ask because it doesn't matter what type of business you host or you have, you can host a virtual event. Look at me. I host social media marketing day virtually. I did it in 2020 and we're going to do it in 2021. It was a physical conference that in 2019, in 2020, we did it virtually because of the pandemic in 2021. We're going to do it virtually again. Doctors, lawyers, you all can hold events and it will greatly benefit your clients and your business. Think about New Year's, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. If you want a list of ideas or things that are happening every month in 2021, I'm going to drop a link in the comments. So you can check out your own convenience. For a, a basically a marketing calendar, what's happening in January, what's happening in March, uh, February, March, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So check that out. What about a end of year clearance? Even if you are a digital person, you can you can get creative with this. Even if you are a service like a doctor, or a lawyer, you have things. Look at the end of the year. It's always a great time to hold a clearance sale, to unload any unsold or overstock items. But even for service people, people that provide professional service, you can still hold an end of year clearance sale. It helps reduce excess inventory, it drive massive traffic to the stores, um, satisfy pr price conscious customers, increase sales, etc., etc. So there is not a reason why. Now, if you are like, okay, it's too late for me to run an end of year sale to uh, this year, guess what? Add it to your calendar for next year. And the 30 days before the promotion or the end of year, then only talk about that. 30 days before, use the 30 days prior to any sale to ramp up content to talk about the sale. Number five, it's about updating your email signature. Look, uh, the days of using your name, phone number and email in your signature are like, that's not from 1990s. Using an email signature today, uh, you, you want, especially if you are a business owner, you want to add more than, look, if somebody's emailing you, there is no reason why you add your email address in your email signature. They already have your email. Look, what I've done that it works and I dropped a, if you go and see the blog post on angelanderson.com, you will see a video that I did about using your email signature to increase your business. But in a nutshell, if you've seen any of my emails, they say Angel Anderson, then below Angel Anderson will say PS, P dot S dot, uh, the post statement, right? And then a call to action. Sometimes I ask a question. Sometimes you might want to survey or send a link to a survey. Sometimes you want to include the link to a landing page or a promotion on your website. What is the place you want them to do? What is the question you want, you want people to answer? If you are emailing 50 people a day, you are missing 50 marketing opportunities by just having your name, phone number, and email in your email signature. So the better email signature is to have a sim your simple name and below your name, a call to action. P.S. Have you started planning your 2021 marketing or what are you going to promote each and every month to your clients? What are you going to promote to your clients in March? And you know, and you, I do get questions. Sometimes I ask, do you know, do, do you need or, or know someone that needs a website redesign? 
and I get people to reply all the time. It works so so well that sometimes I get a reply. And I'm like scratching my head. I'm like, what? I, what is David talking about? I, 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 my email was about milk, and he's talking about a website, and then it clicks. Oh, it's my email signature. So I I tend to forget about it. Check out angelanderson.com, the the latest blog post, and you will see basically the one that said best last minute social media marketing ideas for December, and you will see the email signature. Also, you can check out, you can do a search on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. You will see plenty of videos on uh, more marketing ideas. And you, to reach my YouTube channel, just type angelanderson.tv. It will drive you directly or take you directly to my YouTube channel. Let's talk about rewarding your superstar. This is an opportunity that businesses are missing out and those that are implementing this strategy are not doing it intentional they're doing it because the competition is doing it you want to reward your superstars every month every month here's how here's the this strategy on steroids each month you send an email to your clients asking who is the superstar of the month Make them feel part of your team. Show them how important you are, not only to your clients, but it's also this work both this works for clients and employees. They, they are part of your team. Reward them, but make the employee of the month meaningful. Not just hey, I'm employee of the month. No, you gotta like make it meaningful. You know, I do have some advice. I do have a, I'm going to link a, in this same blog post for the last minute marketing idea, you will find a blog post about how to gain more business by uh, implementing an employee of the month program. You can find that one. It goes in more details if you want to check it out. La, uh, last, but also I have a surprise for you. I have a bonus template, email template. Use proven teams for next year. You know, People talk about the how to's and why, for example, how to do one, two, three, why doctors need to be on social media or why you should have a will if you are a lawyer, why you should check your blood once a year. Look at what happened to Angel for not checking it. Catch things early. Use proven template. Take any, for example, you can take inspiration for right now in December, in December, because this is December, right? Take inspiration from the 12 days of Christmas and feature a tip or a product of the day on your blog, on your social media feed. Fitness related business uh, like personal trainings or health centers can give exercise of the day uh, for, to avoid gaining weight. On the holidays, flower shop can feature um a bouquet of the, of the day, uh, different holiday colors for the flowers, restaurants and bar can showcase cocktails for the holidays. You, you get the point. The, the, uh, the uh, options are endless. The idea is that this is a proven theme that you can easily execute. And, in, and again, if you say, Angel, it's too late. It's too late already. My friend, add it to your calendar. And if you're using any calendar, for example, like Google Calendar, you get up to like, Five reminders, meaning what I do is I when I add this this 12 days of Christmas for 2021 in my calendar, one reminder will go two months before, one reminder will go one month before, one reminder will go two weeks, one week, and the day before. And that means that that the 12 days of Christmas next year will not be dropped from the radar. It will be visible. Things will get done. So if you can't execute this this year, add it for the calendar, my friend. And lastly, and I'm going to end it with this, I'm going to give you a bonus email template so you can send your clients. Modify to fit your needs, but it goes something like this. Before I lose you to the fudge and family, that's the subject line. You can use something different. Hello. First name. And again, if you want, copy and paste the template, just go angelanderson.com and you'll get the template there. You just copy and paste it and just send the email. But it, it reads something like this. Hello. The holiday, I'm going to read it. The holidays are upon us and our work 
calendar usually looks a little lighter. Before you turn your autoresponder, out of the office responder or out of the office autoresponder, I love to grab a few minutes of your time for that demo you asked about. I promise you it will fit neatly between your ugly sweater team lunch and the office white elephant party. If you are interested, feel free to grab the time on my calendar here and you post the link, use Calendly, use any of your scheduling system, happy holidays and your name. Easy email that you can send and you can get more appointments before the end of the year. My friend, I would like to know what of these seven ideas, I'm gonna recap them again, the easiest breakthrough, which one you like the most? The easiest breakthrough, what, what I mentioned about finalizing your Q1 of the marketing plan, your social media marketing plan for 2021, how to choose the best promotion or event for 2021, uh, running an end of year clearance, updating your email signature, what about rewarding? Did you like about the thing about what I said about rewarding your superstars and about use improving teams? Those are the seven things we talked about. We got a holiday party to attend, like the sweater, like the sweater. Yeah, we like the sweater. My friends, thank you for being part of my life and my family's life. It means a lot to us that we are able to have a good quality of life because of people like you people you watch comment leave questions share uh, the posts and the videos it means the world to m me and my family my wife and my two kids because this is, you're not only supporting angel you're supporting four people in this family and three more in our team so you're supporting seven people by sharing liking possibly more people. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you again, my friend. See you in the next one. Peace out.